Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the five things I would do differently if I had to start my cloud career over and I'm leaving the best one for last. So be sure to stick around. Let's go. All right, so the first mistake I made is getting into it for the money, right? Now I happen to be promoted, so it's not like I really got into it for the money. So when I first started my career, I looked into cloud salaries and I was like, wow, I'm gonna make bank. And I get paid fairly well, I'm not gonna lie, but let's just say that it's not where the salaries um, you see online are. So getting in it for the money is not necessarily the best thing because you know companies value the cloud and your implementation of the cloud at different levels. So just because the average is very high doesn't mean that that's where you get. So the second thing I would do differently is I would experiment more. And by that, I mean, there are a lot of technologies in the cloud and sometimes just because you have an idea of one solution doesn't mean that you should go with that solution. You know, you should look around, you should experiment with other solutions, try new things uh, because that's the cloud for you. Like a lot of new things come up, a lot of things go, and it's important to experiment. So the third thing is I would get more involved in designing cloud solutions on my own before people came to me with uh, designs or solutions already made for me. The reason for that is yes, you may have architect or you may have people who are uh, dedicated to implementing solutions, but going through it yourself and understanding why things are and how to make them happen and you know what is the rationale behind things is really the thing that takes your career from I do things that people tell me to I'm a leader. And for the first few years in my career, I was not that leader. I was just like, hey, I have a job. Can you please tell me to do things? And it worked to some extent, but it's not really a, a leader career, right? It's not a uh, person that you're like, hey, look, run with that, right? So if you want to improve your career, you need to start designing solutions. You need to start helping out people above you with your solutions so that you start getting traction and starting leadership and start, you know, being uh, an architect or solutions specialist or whatever. Number four is I would not get married to a technology. And what I mean by that is that it's very easy in the cloud to say, you know what, I'm going to master this technology. I'm going to master, master Azure function. That's one that I mastered but then not really look at what are the other ways of doing the same thing, right? Because yes, you can get married to a technology. You can go very deep and be an expert in that technology. But when you work in a broader cloud infrastructure ecosystem, being married to a technology can be detrimental. What I mean by that is that if you have a hammer and the only thing you know how to use is a hammer, then every problem becomes a hammer problem. And so if you think about it as a, you know, in making a house or whatever, you know, screw, hammer the screw in, put a nail, hammer the nail in. Um, you need to put stuff together. You have to hammer it, you know, 3D printer, hammer, all, all these stuff. If that's the only thing you know, then you're not really using all the tools to the best of your ability. So master other tools so you can have a much bigger picture of how cloud works. And the last one is invest your time and effort in infrastructure as code. And I can't emphasize this enough. And that's why I leave it for last because it is the most important thing in my career. Infrastructure as code makes you invaluable. And what I mean by that is that I see so many times where we are able, people who know infrastructure as code, to deploy solutions over and over and over again very easily. Complicated solutions, complicated architectures over and over and over again very quickly, which is not something that somebody who would just click would be able to do, reproduce, and it makes a lot of things more difficult to actually go through a portal or just like the one common line. A lot of companies will probably move more and more and more to 
infrastructure as code. Of course, there will always be portal deployments for the one-offs, the thing that is not scripted, the thing that is just too complicated to do in infrastructure as code. But the vast majority of cloud computing work is going to be infrastructure as code. And the one thing that is good about infrastructure as code is that once you master it, especially cross-provider technologies like Terraform, is that you have that tool that can span everything and you have the knowledge and the skills and the experience to do anything in the cloud. Anything becomes just a piece of code. It's like using a new library if uh, you write code. And yes, you may need to be a little bit more familiar with how this works and the certain behaviors, but ultimately it's not really that difficult because everything works within the same framework. So if, the, if you take anything away from this video, anything at all, it's that you should be investing in infrastructure as code. You should be investing in learning those skills because that's the, that's the future of cloud computing. And I'm sorry if you don't like programming and you don't want to write code, but that's, that's what you've got to do if you want to be in cloud computing. So if I had that years ahead, if I had invested in learning Terraform two, three years ago, when I started my career, I definitely would be in a much better position than I am now because I could have been the leader. I could have been the person to bring this all to my company. I could have developed so many things in architecture that would have sped up the company so much. And um, yeah, now instead of being ahead of the game, I'm right within the game and uh, stings a little bit, but you know what? I'm still, I'm still in to have a job. So if you're already working in cloud computing, I'm just curious if you have the same things that you wish you had known before that I do, or if you have different ones that I didn't think about that you wish you had learned before uh, starting your career, please let me know in the comments. I uh, would really love to learn from you guys. Here's a video about infrastructure as code that I made, and here's where you can subscribe if you want to see more content. And I'll see you in another video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.